Hi, I'm Carl Kahn, Technical uh, Marketing Manager at Puppet Labs. I have with me Chris Wells and Rich Dorito from Red Hat. We're going to talk to you about the satellite integration with Puppet Enterprise today. Um, just to kind of get started though, I want to level set on a little bit about Puppet. Um, Puppet is a configuration management tool. We have an open source project uh, that is Puppet that most people know. And what it does is it allows you to describe your sta desired state for your systems in code. And when Puppet runs, it compares the actual state of the system to what you said it should be. And if there's any differences at all, it fixes it. Uh, and if that sounds simple, it's because it is. And what that allows you to do is unify your day one, two, three, and 100 tasks. So for example, your initial configuration for a server, uh, your drift remediation, and your ongoing change management, it's all the same thing to Puppet. So Puppet just does it all and it'll deal with one tool, one insight, and one code base. Uh, but today we're going to be talking about satellite and how Puppet and Enterprise work together. Uh, so Chris, can you introduce yourself? Uh, yeah, I'm Chris Wells, work at uh, Red Hat. I'm the product owner for Red Hat Satellite, which basically means I'm the general manager for the Red Hat Satellite business. A Red Hat Satellite is our solution for managing the life cycle of Red Hat products. And when I say life cycle, that's everything from being able to provision systems to going through and managing the content and software for those systems, their life cycle, taking them from dev to test, ultimately into production, and also incorporating tools like Puppet for configuration management. Great, thanks. And Rich, you want to introduce yourself? Yes, yeah, so I'm Rich Dorito. I do technical marketing for Satellite, so I'm responsible for doing many of the same things Carl does on the Puppet Tie, which is uh, marketing the product from a technical perspective. Great, thanks. So Chris, you were telling us a little bit about Satellite and kind of teeing up what it does. Um, so we know that uh, Satellite 6 incorporated, incorporated open source Puppet into that project. Can you talk a little bit about why? Well, one of the things that we did uh, several years ago, we've had uh, satellite in the market for about 10 years or so. And we realized that we needed to go through and basically modernize the platform. And one of the most common requests that we got from customers was to add more configuration management capabilities to the product. When we surveyed the, our customers in the market space, we found that really Puppet was the market leader, and that was the technology that most people wanted to use. And because Puppet is an open source project, it was a natural fit with Red Hat to go out and take that open source project, bring it into satellite along with several other projects that we have, and then commercialize that into satellite. Awesome, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, so you have, we have a lot of customers asking about Puppet Enterprise and satellite working together. What are you hearing customers ask about Puppet Enterprise? Well, what we see customers uh, looking for in the most common use case is that what satellite's really focused on is managing Red Hat products and Red Hat infrastructure and the life cycle of those things. And while we would love that every customer out there in the world only runs things on Red Hat uh, products, we realize there's a lot of heterogeneous environment. People have other distributions of Linux, they have, they have Windows and stuff in their environment, and they really want to have one solution for being able to manage those. So the idea with Puppet Enterprise is allow Puppet Enterprise to manage those other types of operating systems and stuff, let satellite focus on the the Red Hat products and then really by doing the integration give a customer one puppet experience, one management experience to going across both of those. Awesome. You know, we're seeing a lot of the same things on our side. Customers are coming to us and saying, you know, we depend on satellite. We love it for our, our Red Hat infrastructure. Um, but we're also looking for Puppet Enterprise to help manage Windows, just like you're saying. Uh, we're also seeing a lot of people looking for, like, our partner integrations with Huawei, Cisco, Cumulus, uh, Arista, and then all the other network vendors out there. Um, and also our supported modules like MS SQL and, you know, the integrations like what we're talking about here today. Um, but then, of course, our Puppet apps, so things like uh, Node Manager that helps you provision new systems and be able to automatically classify them based on on the facts on those systems, the code manager that helps you get code from keyboard to production within your Puppet infrastructure. And then of course our application orchestrator that we've been talking about at PuppetConf pretty heavily um, that allows you to um, do, do model your applications and uh, your distributed app like applications on your infrastructure. Um, so Rich, uh, you know, as we're talking about um, Puppet Enterprise and uh, Satellite together in, in the different use cases that they provide, what are people looking for, for from an integration between the two? Yeah, so the, the integration a lot of our customers are, have asked us for is, you know, they like to use Satellite for the things that Satellite's very good at. Satellite includes robust provisioning, includes errata management and patch management and subscription management, but they also want to, you know, leverage the capabilities that Puppet Enterprise provides, you know, across multiple platforms. So when we sat down and we kind of started working on a solution, a lot of what we wanted to do was, how do we tie these products together in a manner that's one, easy to understand, easy to consume, and also easy to support. So that's really where the integration was built around was let's leverage the best of both products technologies into one cohesive solution, make it very easy to work with so the customer doesn't have to deal with something that felt like it was developed in a lab. 
Great. Can you kind of walk us through what the integration is doing? Yes. So from an integration perspective, what we do is we leverage satellites rich provisioning capabilities to ingest Red Hat content as well as the Puppet Enterprise agents and use those to build systems uh, with RHEL, any supported version of RHEL, so RHEL 5, RHEL 6, or RHEL 7. And we uh, set up those systems with the Puppet Enterprise agent, configure that agent to speak to the Puppet Enterprise infrastructure. From there, that agent is managed by the Puppet Enterprise infrastructure using normal standard supported methods. And then lastly, we have integration between the Puppet Enterprise console and Red Hat Satellite so that Puppet Enterprise can report facts and report data into satellite so that both systems have unified and fresh information, current information about the entire environment. Awesome. Uh, so Chris, where are we going with this? Where, what's coming up next? What, when we take a look at things that we can do in the future, I think one of the things that's important to point out is that we don't just look at this as simply a technical solution. That's the first thing that we've done this. But this is actually an ongoing relationship between both Red Hat and Puppet Labs so that the customer experience is really optimal. So not only do we give them the technical solution, it's got the integration, but we've also worked with both of our support organizations. So when a customer calls in, because eventually they'll have some type of problem, that's just the way IT works, we don't have the case of the two vendors trying to point at each other. It's one globally supported solution from both the Puppet side as well as from the Red Hat side. So that's what we have today. Things that we're looking at into the, the future, other points that we can tie the product in could be things around like the open SCAP type of stuff and audit reports and those kind of things are just some of the things that we're thinking about. Awesome. I know a lot of people uh, are really excited about this integration are going to get a lot of use out of it. Um, so yeah, thanks for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.